In this video, I'm going to teach you how to flash the Sky Ice Cream Sandwich ROM for the Galaxy S2 LTE for Rogers and for the Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for AT&T. Um, as a Rogers user, I can confirm that it works great on the LTE version and for AT&T users, <clears throat> it has been confirmed by many, many people on this forum thread in XDA that it works great. Uh, the developer is, I know it's not really focusing right now, but Sean's Screams. And um, I guess I'll get the warnings and initial instructions over with. The very first thing you must do is have your device rooted. If it's not, for Rogers users, I have a tutorial on how to do that here. Uh, for AT&T users, I don't have an AT&T device, so unfortunately I can't help you with that. And you must also have Touch Recovery installed, which you can find a video tutorial here in which it can be used for the Galaxy S2 for AT&T and Rogers. It works for both versions. Okay, And of course, <coughs> if you try to flash this ROM, you could permanently damage your device, so you're doing so at your own risk. And if you have any questions, please try to ask in this forum thread, because I'm not the developer. Sean's Scream is. Um, but I try my best to answer your questions anyway. If you have a lot of questions to post on YouTube, please send me a private message. Uh, just try to avoid flooding the comment section. Um, if you want to know how this ROM behaves, like an actual preview, I will include a video link right here in which I show you how it works. And um, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> All the f I'm not going to list any of the cool features included with this ROM because you should watch the video in which I, just, I show you how it actually runs. So, to get straight into flashing the ROM without wasting any time, uh, I suggest you get this because it's extremely stable and um, the developer is updating it like crazy. It's stable as it is, but he's always making minor tweaks here and there to make it better. Um, and what else? In about two weeks' time, he's updated it about four or five times. It went from version 9 to 13 in about just under two weeks so development on it is at a ridiculous pace um, so you, what you need to do this all this information will be included in the description this thread link what you need to do is download this file if you want stock email and exchange or if you want Google email and exchange download this instead so basically if you download this ignore this okay but if you download this ignore this I simply go with the Google email because uh, I abuse Google services, so I recommend you use this one. So download this file here, then of course you need to download the update. Here it says 13, but depending on uh, how fast he might have updated it, this number could change when you decide to download it. So don't be worried about it, it's just simply that it means he's updated it once again. Um, what else? You need to download the modem. <coughs> file here and if for any reason any of these links are dead please notify me and I will post them in a new uh, link but this this forum thread the links tend to work fairly well there are of course other mods you can download here I'm not gonna go through them because I don't need them you can flash them later on uh, battery mods etc there's a, there's a ton of minor very minor minor uh, um, uh, mods rather sorry uh, any known issues, <clears throat> there aren't many, and they're all fixable, very, very easily fixable, but again, if you want to know what they are and how to fix them, please watch that video in which I show you how the ROM <coughs> excuse me, uh, works and behaves. So, with that said, download those three files. Like I said, you need to download the base ROM, depending on which one you choose. The update, which can be different compared to what's in this video because you might have updated it again, and then of course the modem. And in order to begin, you must put all those files, preferably on an internal memory of your phone. If you have an external SD card, try not to put it there. Boot your device into recovery. So in order to do that, your phone must be off. Hold the power button and both volume buttons at the same time. Phone vibrated, now let go of the power button. Keep holding the volume buttons. There's recovery. So that's how you boot into recovery. <coughs> which I put a link at the beginning of this video anyway. Okay, so <coughs> the developer has mentioned that when it comes to wiping your previous data... Oh, uh, 
one more thing I should let you know back up all your data because in order to flash this ROM you will lose everything on your phone um, your internal SD card should be okay but for the sake of you know just to be safe I suggest you back it up too <clears throat> anyway when it comes to wiping data on this uh, device the developer has said that you should repeat each wiping step three times in a row just to ensure that everything is wiped correctly so what I'm going to do is show you how to do it once and then actually call out okay repeat the step twice and then fast forward the video just to make things faster okay so if you see this video fast forwarding I'm only doing it to save time I'm not actually skipping any steps so don't worry about it I want to make sure you get this done properly and you know what how to do it okay and the SD card files listed in my device might be different because <clears throat> the developer is updating the files constantly like I said so keep a note you, you know which file is what alright okay so the first thing you want to do is wipe data factory reset <clears throat> so you're just gonna select that and do this step three times and we'll continue from there okay so you wipe data factory reset three times right okay so the next step to do is wipe cache partition uh, the, the camera has a, a bit of trouble focusing but I'm reading them out loud so you know exactly which one to tap okay so wipe cache partition do this three times and then we'll continue okay so when you're done that <clears throat> the next step is to go into advanced at the bottom of the main screen and wipe Dalvik cache you can do that three times in a row and we'll continue on okay so you wipe Dalvik cache three times <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now is scroll down hit go back at the bottom hit install zip from SD card like I said you might not be able to see it properly because the uh, camera can't focus but I'm reading them out loud exactly as I see it so you won't miss anything I put on my internal SD card so I'm gonna select choose zip from internal SD card scroll all the way down to the bottom and you're gonna find the base ROM uh, the base ROM is the first file I told you to choose between the two emails that this is like you know um, so like I said for me it's the um, 4.2 e r5 goo for you depending on when you download it the file name might be different okay remember he's updating it so you're gonna have to keep a personal note on this yourself so you're gonna flash the ROM and you're only gonna do this part once and then we'll continue when it's done okay so when you're flashing the ROM itself uh, you can't see right now but at the bottom it'll say something like installing and examining disk integrity it'll be on that part for like five minutes or so and then it'll just pass <clears throat> that means everything's work fine so if you see that if you think that it's frozen it's not it's actually just it's doing work in the background so from here you're gonna hit go back <clears throat> excuse me sorry I got a sore throat today and then you're gonna wipe cache partition and do this step three times and then we'll continue from there okay when cache partition is done you're gonna hit install zip from SD card mine is on internal so I'm gonna select internal if you're external then select um, choose zip from SD card at the top so you can scroll all the way down <coughs> all the way down uh, so for the modem for me it says ice cream sandwich ULCE2 radio so I'm gonna do that hit yes and you're doing this part only once <clears throat> and at this point what you're gonna do is actually when this is finished you're gonna actually reboot the device like start it up normally on purpose the developer wants so that the base ROM which you originally flashed settles in the cache and everything once it's done <clears throat> you, let, you basically start it up and let it sit for about 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes just let it you know get used to all the new information from the ROM so to do that you can hit go back when it's done the modem reboot system now so like I said just let it sit for 15 minutes don't do anything with the ROM itself don't try to open apps and play with it I know you're really tempted to but we're not done yet okay okay so after initial boot and letting the phone sit for about 10 minutes this is what it'll look like I know you're very tempted to play with your device right now but try not to because we're not done yet you want to get the maximum performance out of your device so we're gonna continue on so what you're gonna do is actually hit apps and uh, of course scroll until you find busybox install uh, busybox free sorry tap that the first time you open it it's gonna ask you do you want to deny or allow allow access for this app okay make sure you allow and what you're gonna do is hit um, simply install 
<clears throat> let it do its thing, and then you're going to boot back into recovery once it's done. Okay? Uh, let's just say something that looks like the installation of BusyBox is successful, congratulations, blah, blah, blah. And just simply boot into recovery, and now we're going to finish up this tutorial and make sure all the updates are working well. Okay, so you boot into recovery, uh, just like I showed you at the beginning of this video how to do that. And what you're going to do at this point is clear cache. So you're going to select wipe cache partition, do this step three times, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, and the very last step is to flash the actual update. So you can install zip from SD card. Like I said, if you're, it's on your external, choose the top option. If it's on your internal memory like me, choose zip from internal SD card. Find the zip file. Like I said, the name could be different compared to this video <coughs> because I'm on version uh, 13 update right here at the bottom, or the second last one. Yours could be different, so you're going to have to keep a note for yourself. Tap it, install it once only, and um, <coughs> pardon me. At this point, uh, you can pretty much start the device normally once it's done. Like I said, go back to the root menu of recovery and hit reboot system and it should be good to go. Uh, go back, reboot system now. And depending on uh, this update, it may or may not take a while to load up. Uh, if the update was big, it'll take longer to load up. If it was smaller, it'll be faster to load up, right? So, like I said, if you want a demonstration, uh, stay tuned for the end of the video, in which I actually show you what this ROM looks like again, just in case you want to see it one more time. Some of the cool features and some of the known issues which are really easy to fix. And, <coughs> excuse me, if you found this video useful, hit the like button, because it does help, subscribe to my channel, or check out my website for technology news and rumors, and thanks for watching.